can really feel like the folds sticking together. That's so gross. <laughs> and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kirielle and today we are doing another palette review. I've been wanting to try this palette for ages as soon as I saw it launching. Today we are reviewing the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. Seeing swatches of this online, it looks amazing. When I went to Paris, I saw it in store and it looks so gorgeous. So I picked it up when I was there and I bought it in Sephora for 65 euros, which kind of made me die a little inside, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's available in Sephora for $65 and then in the UK, it's $56 and I believe you can buy it on Cult Beauty and also Huda Beauty is available in Harrods so if you live in London and you bougie then you go to Harrods and you can get yourself a Huda Beauty palette. You might be able to tell I've already got some eyeshadow on my eyelids so it's kind of a sneak preview into what's to come. Thumbs up if you love a smoky pinky nude eye. But today I'm going to be swatching, trying this on my eyes and showing you how the product performs. Swatches versus the eye application and all that jazz. Obviously this is a first impressions of the product but I am going to continue to test it and then I'll update you guys if anything changes. But yeah, let's get into the actual product for you guys. Okay, so this is what the actual palette looks like and then you open it up and you've got a massive, oh god did I just some of the shadows I probably did. Oh god I did. Why? There goes a whole five of them. Great. We have a nice big mirror which I will just say I utilized a lot during this tutorial. It was so handy having a nice big mirror to do my eyeshadow in because you can see both of your eyes and it's easier to get them more even. My eyes will never be even because they're two completely different shapes but you know I I can try. I can try my best. And then it comes with this little plastic cover, which I actually kind of appreciate because this seems like a good quality plastic cover. And also, it's pretty, so you kind of want to keep it, you know? And then you have the shadows. As you can see inside, it's a very visually appealing palette. Very nice to look at. It's got pretty shimmers in there. It's got glitter in there. Who can go wrong with glitter? And then you have an array of matte neutrals, but with also some deeper tones as well. So in here all together is 18 shades. It's got 10 matte, 4 multi-reflective shadows, which is the kind of marbly looking ones, 2 pressed glitters, and 1 pressed pearl. The 1 pressed pearl is kinky. I saw quite a lot of hype for this online. I think I've only seen one review, which was Raw Beauty Christy, but that was a while ago. So I'm going to be testing this baby on my eyes and also doing arm swatches so you guys can see what it looks like on a pretty white blank canvas. But yeah, I think that's all the information that I need to give about this palette. So without further ado, let's get into the swatches. Okay, so here's the first row of swatches. This one you can barely see on my skin because it's pretty much my actual skin color. This is called Bear, Crave, Play, Fantasy, Love Bite, and Spanked. Here is the second row. We have Lace, Daydream, Tickle, Excite, Infatuated, and Kinky. Here is the third and final row. This is the concealed colour, which is the kind of cream base that's in the palette. Secret, Tease, Raw, Charmed, and Teddy. So we are up close and personal again, so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. And to see exactly how the eyeshadows perform, you guys can see up close and personal what is going on on my face. Actually, I need to bring you down a bit. You're a little bit high bear with That is better. Okay, so I wanted to do this a little bit differently today, basically because of the palette that we're using. Typically, I use the P. Louise base, which is what I want to use for these eyeshadows, but in this actual palette, it has a concealer base. So I also wanted to try that to see if it is actually functional in the palette or if it's just kind of like a dud thing that they've added in there that doesn't really work. Put in a concealer product with powders typically isn't a good idea because it's gonna get everything in it but we'll see the kind of texture and everything when I try it. So I'm quickly gonna prime with my P. Louise base on my left eye. I'll just do that quickly off camera so I'll be right back. Okay so I have primed with the P. Louise base. It's all nice and ready for shadow. I'm not quite sure what colors to go in with I'll be honest. I think I'm gonna try and make like a smoky dusty really blown out look with this kind of Valentine's Day inspired. So to start off I'm gonna go in with my Zoeva Petite Crease Brush. It is cleaned it's just stained. Okay, don't come for me. <laughs> this is a 231 brush and I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? 
I'm gonna go in with the color Spanked. <laughs> this palette is a PG, okay? It's a bit rude, I'll be honest. <laughs> you can see right there, there's like a little bit of kick up to the shadow. Not too much, but there is a little bit. My brush looks decently coated. Just gonna get rid of the creases before I go on in. Okay, and I'm gonna place this in the crease like I usually would. This is actually quite a nice color. And it is, you know, virgin on the kind of purpley tones, which sometimes are troublesome for an eyeshadow shade. I'm just packing this on real well so I get the most amount of pigmentation. That is three dips, but usually it would take me about that amount to get the vibrancy that I want, because I want it to look like the color that's in the pan, you know? I don't want to blend it away. That looks pretty good, but obviously this is only one color. I'm going in with the Morphe M562 brush. It's this tiny little blender brush. Again, just stained. The green that I used in the last makeup look <laughs> really stained a lot of my makeup brushes, so. And I'm gonna go in with the shade called Tickle, which is the very soft, muted pink color. Whoa, there's quite a lot of kick up on this one. You see that shade in the middle there? It's just quite a bit of kickback, but it kind of reminds me of the ABH palette. Not a lot of pigment has come on the brush, but we'll see what it looks like on the eye. I'm just gonna go 50% on that purpley color and 50% on the base as I usually would. Hello? <laughs> Is there any color coming on? There you go. Kind of dipped in a little bit more. Kind of scared me there, not gonna lie. <laughs> I feel like it might be looking a little bit patchy on camera, but it's really not in real life. I'm going back in with the spank color and I'm just reinforcing it through the crease. And then I'm also kind of bringing it slightly on the mobile lid and right on the outer corner. I will say the two shades have kind of blended together. I don't feel like you can really tell a difference. To blend out the edges a little bit more, I'm actually gonna go in with the color Play, which is kind of like the peachy nude color in the palette. I'm gonna go in with the M562, which is the same one I used for the Tickle color. And I'm just going to, oh gosh, a lot of kick up on this one again. Quite a bit. And I'm just gonna blend out the edge even more because I really want this to be like, like blown out, you know? I don't know what that sound effect was. At the moment, I feel like I look like I've been punched in the eye, but it's all good. Hopefully it'll come together in the end. So far though, these are very blendable and the pigment is decent. I'm gonna bring streaked into halfway from the outer corner, just cause I'm gonna be going in with a darker color. So I want like a base for it to go on top of. And I'm just kind of blending it in. These blend really well, really beautifully. Like they are kind of effortless to blend. This is looking like a good palette so far. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Morphe M506 brush, which is a cute little fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into the color Love Bite, which is the very purpley, kind of color in the palette. Ooh, picked up quite a lot of pigment. You probably cannot see that on camera. There's not as much kickback with this one. Pack this on first of all, and then tuck it into the crease. I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit darker. Pigmentation is even. It's going on the lid quite nicely. Okay, so this has added quite a bit of richness to the look, which I like. I'm gonna take the brush that I used with the spanked color and just buff and blend a little bit. I don't want to take it too high. I do feel like it's looking like all one color with a slight blend on camera. In person though, it looks a lot more faded out. For some reason on camera, it's not really showing up. Now, I really want to try some of these shimmers and also some of the glitter. The glitter just kind of calls to me, like look at it in the palette. It looks so freaking pretty. I'm gonna cut the crease, but I don't really want to use concealer or anything. I kind of just want to go in with the straight shadow. I want to go in with the shade Fantasy, which is this kind of rosy color. And I'm just gonna swatch it with my finger first to see what it looks like. Oh, it looks pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that sheen on my finger there. Oh my god, I'm just gonna... Oh my god. I didn't even swipe like that much oh my god i don't know if i want to use that on the lid though it has a bit of a peachy shade that i don't really think will go with this look so i'm gonna try some of the other ones daydream in the pan daydream looks more lilac but it's more of a like true rose gold kind of color and then there's crave wow which is more of like a champagne gold i can't believe how like much those swatched on my hand so i think i'm gonna go in with the color daydream just because it goes with a kind of purple vibe that i've got going on and i'm pretty sure that with this palette there was a silicone applicator i thought i'd use a synthetic brush because they're plastic bristles and see if that would help 
with the actual pigmentation and application. So I'm going to use the Spectrum A16 brush, which is this little packing brush. I'm pretty sure this is synthetic. If not, I can go in with my fingers, but I prefer to apply it with a brush, you know what I mean? Uh, it's not big enough on the brush. Usually what I do if I'm going to wet my brush is I put the product on my brush first and then I wet it. It doesn't ruin the actual eyeshadow then, but obviously I can't do this because it's not picking it up. I may try wetting my brush first just using a little bit of Fix Plus. Nothing happened. Literally that did nothing on the brush at all. Um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to try the Smoky Shader Brush, the 234 from Zoeva and see if this helps. This is a natural hair brush. Okay, the natural bristles are picking up a little bit more and I'm kind of like wiggling my brush like back and forth in the pan. It's not disrupting the product or anything which is nice. So I'm just going to go and kind of cut the crease but not cut the crease, you know what I mean? Let's see if there's... Oh, wow. Pretty sparkle but again, it's not doing what's on my hand. You can see that's very dispersed. I think I'm gonna have to go in with my fingers but I wanted to see if I could utilize my brushes for my makeup looks because typically I usually have long nails when they're not broken and uh, and it's a little bit awkward having nails you know trying to get right into the inner corner but we'll see if magic happens. That's a, that's a little bit better but it's not all transferring off my finger. How did I manage to get it on my bottom lash line? <laughs> this is what I mean when using fingers just isn't ideal. It is pretty. I wish I kind of put a base underneath now just because I feel like the pigment might have been better. I'm gonna go back in with Spanked and kind of blend out the edges just a little bit. I don't really like the way Spanked has gone over top of that. Mm. It's kind of made it grey. Go back in with Love Bite and see if that makes it any better. I feel like this just looks kind of messy. The shimmers look so pretty, why didn't they work? I'm gonna actually try it foiling my finger to see if that will help, so I'm gonna add a little bit of Fix Plus on top. Like a spray or two over top. See if this will help it transfer a bit. It's just not transferring from my finger onto my lid. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. It's just not giving that vibrancy of metallic that it does on my finger, which is highly disappointing. Okay, so now for the glitter. I'm pretty sure that these are just standard pressed glitters. So I'm gonna use a little bit of glitter glue just for that insurance. And I'm gonna do the glitter in the kind of transition here. Glue here. I'm just gonna fade it out. Okay, so to tie in with the kind of purpley, pinky, mauvey kind of feel we've got, I'm gonna go in with Infactuators. I'm gonna go in with the little Spectrum brush I picked up earlier and wet it slightly with Fix Plus just to help pick up the glitter a little. I have to kind of scoop at it to pick up the glitter. I'm gonna pat this on and kind of work my way up and down. That looks super duper pretty. It's very very fine but that is very very pretty. Guys <laughs> look at my hand right now and I haven't even done the swatches of this thing yet oh my god. So I think that's what I want to do on the lid in total but now I want to try this with the concealer shade from the actual palette. I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics brush that came in a set I think it was like a smoky eye set or something but it's the number four brush and I'm just gonna dip into this thing. Okay it's very creamy in the pan but also kind of stiff at the same time. <laughs> okay so I managed to pick up a little bit of product there and I'm just gonna pop this all over the lid. It's so thick and it's not even that pigmented. Mm. I would try using my fingers but they're just covered in stuff right now. <laughs> Probably the better way would be to use your finger because you can warm up the product. I feel like you can still see like my veins. So with this I can definitely feel it on my eyelid. Because of my hooded eyes as well I can really feel like the folds sticking together. So I'm going to be doing exactly the same, obviously, on this eye and we'll see if it blends any easier or anything like that. I'll speed through this so you don't have to sit and watch everything, but obviously I'll pop in throughout the clips and tell you what I think and what's happening. Let's, let's get to it. Okay, so while I feel like it's actually blending quite nicely on this side, I don't feel like I'm getting the same amount of pigmentation as I did on the P. Louise side. I feel like even the colours are looking slightly different <laughs> and also I feel like I'm getting a tiny little bit of patchiness there's some like weirdness going on with this primer but we're gonna persevere and I'm gonna try and get this done there's kind of like a weird separation thing going on by here 
I feel like the shimmer blended a lot better on this side than this side. It's just looking better like texture wise and also finish wise. I did use three layers of it though. <laughs> so maybe that's it as well. Okay, so I think that's as even as I'm getting my eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do my base makeup, my brows and everything. And yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've quickly done my base, my brows really need maintenance but this is the best we're gonna get right now okay so blending out the bottom lash line i kind of want to try some more purple like this light purpley lace color right here i kind of want to try first off i'm gonna go in with the color spanked again and i'm gonna go right underneath the lash line and i'm really bringing it quite low because i really want it to be very smoky i'm gonna blend it into the outer corner here now i'm gonna go back in with the color love bite and base that even closer to my lash line go right up in there helps this on the edge as well to blend it all together just dragging it down a little bit lower and winging it out just a little bit more and to add a little bit more of the purple color i'm gonna go in with the color lace and i'm taking this on the morphe m514 brush and i'm literally just gonna go right underneath and blend that spiked color out with this purple. I'm kind of bringing it like right towards my temple. I really want this to be smoked out. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in close up. I've got my lashes on. These are Doll Beauty Esmeralda, one of my favorites. Kind of jacked up like the glue around my lash line here, so ignore that. I wanted to do an inner corner highlight. I might try and go in with the Crave color and see how that looks. I'm going in with this little square kind of brush. It's just like a paint brush that I've had for a while but it's just like a nice shape for the inner corner that actually picked up the product quite well on the brush let's see how this looks okay oh it's a little crumbly right there it's a little dark for my actual inner corner i'm gonna do the same on the other side but then i'll go over it with my actual face highlight to lighten it up okay so that is it for this eye makeup let's go ahead and discuss my first impressions and thoughts on the palette okay so the eyeshadows are now on my eyes and i actually quite like this look a lot i don't usually take my eyeshadow out this far but I'm really digging it. So I've used a few of the different formulas within the palette. Obviously I can get through all of these shades in one eye look, but I will be testing out the other shades because there are some kind of neutral browns in here. There's some good things and some bad things about this palette. The mattes in here are really, really good. They were really pigmented, they smoothed on, they didn't skip. There wasn't any kind of inconsistency in the color. They blended like a friggin' dream. And the mattes within the palette really go together. There's a good color story in here. Obviously it's based on nude eyeshadows. I honestly felt like I could build and blend, build and blend. There was no problems with doing that with these shadows at all. I can't wait to try some of these more neutrals down here, like this teddy color looks gorgeous down here. This is a very good like day to night kind of palette. The shimmers, uh, they are so pretty and they look extremely gorgeous in the pan but they just didn't perform well for me. They swatched so beautifully but on the actual eyelid they just didn't transfer the way that I wanted them to. I wanted them to look like they did on my finger on my eye. It is pretty, don't get me wrong, it's a very pretty sheen but it's not metallic in the sense that it looks wet like it did on my finger. So if you are hoping to get that kind of crazy shine that it shows, I don't think you're gonna be able to get it. Maybe it's all in that silicone applicator. Actually, I do actually have a silicone pack of applicators. Let me just see if I can try something. I bought these cheap from Amazon ages ago and I've used some of them for like face masks and things. So I have this kind of like little paddle brush. Let's see what we can do. I love how the tutorial is over and I'm just like, wait, there's more. If I kind of like scrape it, it kind of picks it up. Well, it's kind of crumbling. It doesn't hurt to try. Okay, let's go. I feel like it is picking up more product, but it's still not giving the finish that I want. I don't know, I'll play around with it some more with some of the other shades. I feel like I have a lot on my lid right now, so I might be why it's not working. So the shimmers look really pretty, but they just don't perform the way that I want them to. I will update you guys if that changes in the future and if I find a trick or anything like that to make them work better. For the first impressions, they're not what I'd hoped they were. The glitter that I tried, I feel like was really nice. Again, always recommend using a glitter glue with these kind of glitters. They're gonna fluff everywhere if you don't. Even if you've got sticky concealer or anything like that, you don't 
particularly need to go out and buy a glitter glue. Just something that's tacky that's going to hold on to the glitter will work. There's only one formula in here which I didn't really try which is the colour Kinky. Which is more of your kind of traditional metallic colour rather than these kind of marbly ones in here. Overall I really love the mattes in here. I feel like this is a really good daily palette. You have a lot of transition shades but then you also have your deeper darker shades to make it a little bit more intense and a little bit more smoky. And everyone loves a little bit of glitter. You can't go wrong with some glitter in a palette. Does the price reflect the quality? I feel like it does and I feel like you get a lot of eyeshadows in here although I kind of cringe thinking about how much it actually is. I feel like you can really get your money's worth out of this. I feel like this is what I'd wish the Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette was like. I much prefer this over the rose gold. So I feel like this one is going on my top shelf so I can play around with it a little bit more. One thing that I will say about this is I don't think this is going to work on every single skin tone. Out of all the Huda Beauty palettes, if you're pale skinned, I feel like this one will be the best for you. If you have darker skin, the glitters and obviously the metallics will look amazing on you. There's a lot of this palette that is slightly whitewash and I'm just being transparent and I'm just being honest. A lot of these colours may not work on people with darker skin tones. So for people like me who is white as paper and for maybe medium skin tones you'll probably be able to use this with ease but if you do have a darker complexion and are a gorgeous girl of colour then this may not be the best option for you. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it a little bit helpful and you enjoyed the makeup look that I created. I do get slightly nervous when uploading these just because I have opinions. I want to try and cater for all and give all the information that I can on the product and who I think it would work for, who I don't think it would work for, that kind of thing. I hope you guys know that I'm just being completely honest and I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just trying to give as much information as possible about the product out there and yeah that is it for me this is taking me a lot longer to film than what i thought it would but that's okay and i just realized i don't have highlight on what is life if you do enjoy these kind of videos and you want to see more eye looks and more product reviews from me then don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below and hit the bell next to it so it'll notify you when i upload if you enjoy content like this then don't forget to give me a thumbs up that really helps me out because i know what you guys want and like then and i'll be sure to roll out more content like this for you guys. Anyway guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I hope to see you in the next one. Till then. Bye guys. What was that noise? <laughs> okay body, okay. Where, where do I go next? I don't know. Really battery? Really? You're really gonna run out on me now? God's sake, man. Not salty at all, but anyway. <laughs> I always worry when I say a name. Oh my god. Huda? 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 I don't know. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> you can see your eyes with the fancy neck cover thing. Stop it. Stop taking things. Oh my god. Okay, can you see the battery on something? Mm -mm. <laughs> Why is my tongue green? Kale and spinach. That's why. That's why it's green. Am <sighs> I good? So I'm gonna use a little bit of glitter glue. Oh my god. <sighs> hey. Okay, you guys. So I've tried filming this video about five thousand times. 